Hi everyone, in today's session, let's review how we can do better Terraform using MCP. So you heard about MCP very probably, it's the model context protocol. It's an open protocol that allows you to put LLM models in a connection with a context. So very helpful when you're doing coding with GitHub Copilot. There are a lot of MCP servers that are appearing. One of them is the Azure MCP server, which I'm going to show you. And there's as well another one, which is the HashiCorp Terraform MCP server, which same thing, allow your GitHub Copilot to have more context about Terraform. So let's see it at work. We can see that when we have this environment, I'm in VS Code, I have my settings here, and if I move to the text, I can see that inside all my settings, I have at some point the declaration for my MCP server for this environment. I can specify it at various level, but here you can see that it's defined on my uh, machine, on my environment, and I have my Azure MCP server and my Terraform MCP server. You can see that one is using uh, NPX, a node package, and the other one is using uh, Docker. Totally fine, so many ways to access it. Now, what we have is when we are using GitHub Copilot and we are here using the agent mode, we have a different tools that we can pick from when we are doing our queries. So here we have a set of built-in tools and we can see that now we have the Azure MCP server and we have the Terraform MCP server. So just to view the capabilities of the Terraform MCP server, for instance, you can get the provider uh, documentation and provider details. You can search for module, you can search for module details and everything related to the provider. So super useful. I would say no more hallucination when you are writing Terraform code, you have the fidelity with the providers and the module. So let's first with a very simple example and we'll say, okay, I want to use a community module here. It's a community module amongst many other. I don't know how to use it, but I just want to use it. And I want to say, create a virtual network using ACTF modcalf module from the registry. So we can see it does the queries inside the registry, searching the module, finding the module that I was looking for is going to find uh, the particular version. And here is going to fetch the details for me and I'm telling him uh, to use the AZTF mod slash calf. And here, let's see what it produces for me. So it created the module for me. It's offering to explain me the feature, but ultimately what I want to do is just try if it works. So I want to say uh, run uh, init and plan for me. So I'm able to see if it goes further, if it goes somewhere, if the module is uh, useful and working. We have the agent mode, so let's run that and let's see what happens. So here we see that it's running the init for me. And we can find that, oh, there's a missing configuration for a provider. So, okay, I could read the documentation again, but I can use as well the capabilities of uh, GitHub Copilot. And here we see that it's going to add the additional uh, resources that it needs. Uh, so we're gonna have the Azure RM uh, VHub uh, provider aliasing. So it saw that it needs the provider aliasing. It added the alias to the configuration and it's gonna try to run again the environment. Okay, so now we can see that we have a plan file here that is being produced. We have been able to use uh, successfully that module directly fetching the data from the registry, from the module documentation and using the agent mode to iterate. That's one of the first scenario. The other scenario is, let's say you are a module maintainer for your company. You're maintaining uh, all the modules, all the knowledge in uh, your environment. And you say, well, I want to make my module evolve and I want to implement a new feature. So here I can say, okay, implement Azure RM Dev Center catalog. So again, you make sure that you have the right tools for the job and you can see that you have the MCP server for Terraform, the MCP server for Azure. So it looks like you are equipped for the mission. You can say implement Azure RM Dev Center catalog and let's go, let's see if it works. So ultimately, just like we did for the module, is going to go fetch the elements that it needs from the registry. So it's going to check at the documentation of Azure, check at the documentation of the Terraform provider. And out of that, no more hallucination is going to happen when you are creating your module. 
is going to be able to fetch exactly what's present in the Azure RM documentation to give you the context of the module and the arguments that are taken by the module. So now what GitHub Copilot is doing is analyzing the structure of my repository, how I put the different files inside my environment, how I created my other files. So it's able to generate for me the right exact uh, syntax, module, uh, patterns that I'm using inside my environment. So I can go to the Terraform registry and see that, okay, when I have a dev center catalog, I have the following uh, uh, elements. I have the resource group name, the dev center ID, uh, the different blocks that I have, um, optional block for catalog GitHub, an optional block for catalog uh, addo uh, Git, and then I have those settings that are uh, required. So ultimately, what is going to produce after a while I go to my module and I can see that it actually followed the pattern here where it actually generated for me the Azure RM Dev Center catalog with the exact option with the name, the resource group name, the Dev Center ID, the dynamic blocks for catalog GitHub, catalog uh, Git, and it generated for me uh, the right structure of the files with the right block with the default timeout. It also created the variable for me uh, following the settings that are uh, in this environment. So we can see that we have an optional block, but we can see that inside this optional block, everything is uh, mandatory. And you can see that GitHub Copilot generated for me as well some validation testing. So as usual, it's AI and I want to double check that the settings are correct. I may want to iterate, I may want to add more validation criteria, I can ask for it. But ultimately, we can see that it has been generated, it follows the requirement for the module provider, we can see that we don't have any syntax problem, so it already looks good. Now we can see as well that Copilot has created for me a couple of files. It created some sample configuration file, it created some testing file to validate here the deployment, create some assertion to, to verify the validity of uh, everything. So this is really super helpful. The way GitHub Copilot can use the MCP server to add more context, to create more relevant module, to create and avoid hallucination when you are creating resource, that's super, super useful. Have fun. Don't forget to add the Terraform MCP server when you're terraforming. And don't forget to add as well the Microsoft Azure MCP server. Have fun with GitHub Copilot.